Hey guys, it's Lucas Casper here again. And today I'm gonna to show you a bunch of my favorite spray caps. I'm gonna show you how they come out and what you can do with them. Um, I've done a few before showing you the different caps, but I really didn't get stuck into like the physical painting of it. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna get stuck into this time. You can probably take this information really far. That'll be really important to know. Um, I just finished up a video like two seconds ago. I just turned the camera off, put it back on. For this guy right here, if you wanna know how to paint something like this and implement the, uh, the techniques that I'm about to show you, uh, you can. This is very quick, a simple version, um, but you know this will show you the, the fundamentals to create something nice. Uh, four caps, they're my favorite. I always chuck them in rotation. Um, you can you know find your own favorite, but these might be a good couple to start with. For example, this is a quick piece, but right around the corner here, I have something that took me a little longer and I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, it's a proper painting. It's not a silly little monster like this, you know. It's done um, with a lot of these skinny caps and thicker caps, which you can see right here. First of all, my favorite, thin cap. This, this, uh, these are called like cream skinnies. They're also called Montana level ones. Well, they're not called that, they look like it. There's this green cap that looks just like this. It's my little bag of them. This is the proper like level one. I only have a couple left, so I'm just gonna use this, this cream one to begin with. Montana level one, that's what you may wanna ask for. If they have these cream caps that look just the same, cream skinnies, that's great as well. Um, and the way that these come out is really nice and controlled, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. For thin lines, these are incredible. Like, check this out, right? You can really, really get tiny and skinny, you know? That's almost like hair follicles that you can paint, you know, on something just like that. Pretty nice, really, really nice. And as well as them doing this, I also do this. So like, I love that variability. That's everything I need really. I, I can paint everything with these caps until I get to like a huge painting. Then I need to start using these other, these other nibs. Um, nice and smooth. The, the cleanliness of them are amazing. They don't block up too much. And fading is really great as well with them. So to, to do a fade with a spray can, you need to just angle your hand from the wall. So rather than painting directly, I'm gonna use my hand and like point sideways to the wall. So if I want this to fade this way, I'm just gonna go like this, right? It's all pretty good. I, I love these things, they're the best. They're at least my favorite. Not everybody loves them, but I do. Um, second ones would be the bananas. So these are also like a skinny cap. These are probably the ones that I see painted most with. They're very consistent. They're, the dot of them are like usually very clean and circular, but this is the line for, you know, the bananas. Bit thicker, you know, as you can see like this, but you can also get closer and do similar line work. So these are another great like all rounder. If you're gonna grab caps, 100% get some of these. But these are just a smooth, smooth cap. Uh, they're really great for consistency. If you go far away and close, you know, these are the type of lines that you can get. Really great cap. Um, good for filling in, you know, areas that are like middle grade. And yeah, pretty nice. So there you go, you got, you got your bananas. Then we're gonna get a bit, a bit bigger now. This is gonna go straight to a New York fat or Yorkers, New Yorkers, whatever you wanna call them. Some people wouldn't even classify these as fat caps. Uh, which sort of makes sense because these also have a lot of variability. That's what I like about this like main set of caps that I use is, you know, they're so versatile, you can do a lot of things with them. So this one will be a lot bigger, right? See that? Much bigger. So if you go far away and you go slow, it's a pretty wild type of area you can get. So it technically can be a fat cap, you know, it's a decent, decent uh, line, you know, it's quite big. Uh, but this, these actually go really thin as well. So if you use your hand properly, you can get, you know, some control. And these are great for like flaring. Um, you know, if you're looking at this and you want to write graph or whatever, these are great for like flare tags. You know, if I want to do an S, you can go far away, close down the bottom. So they offer a lot of variability for that type of stuff. Um, yeah, these are great for filling. You know, if I got a circle like this, and I want to fill that in, you can hit this really quick with a Yorker. So that's two seconds, could look cleaner, but you, you get the point, right? So these are great for filling, New Yorkers. Grab some of those. 
And the last one would uh, be a pink dot. Pink dots come stock with Iron Lax, which is a pretty popular um, spray paint brand. You're probably gonna see them if you go to paint shops, I think. Yeah, they've become less popular lately. But this is gonna be a fat cap. So this is like a jet pack. Um, there's a lot of different variations. There's pink dots, there's cyclones, there's all these other fancy names, but they come out similar to this. So let's just roll with the pink dot and see what the, uh, see what the output's like, right? So that's like a bit of a, a bit of a jet pack there, you know? Look at that. That feels huge and it's very misty around the outside. So, you know, a lot of people that are bombing or use like fat caps to just blast out quickly, you know, to fill an area, you know, you, it's quite quick, very, very quick. So yeah, if you like this video, you want to see how to paint something maybe a little bit more refined like this, feel free to check out uh, that video and I will catch you on the next one.